Hello everyone, welcome to the Guju Clashers. You are tuning to the second episode of the Mastering the Spell series and this episode is everything about the heal spell. My name is Priyank and let's get started. So as you know, heal spell is the spell which is unlocked second after the light spell and which is the most popular spell which is to be used with the giants, hog riders and wizards. They are maximum effective but it isn't effective as much with the lava hound golem and the pekka cause they have very high hit point and they aren't that much effective in the effect of heal spell so as you see let's get started so heal spell heal spell is a spell who have a five tile of the radius and which has been unlocked at the town hall number six so five tiles with the total time of the 12 seconds so it has a five tile radius and it is effective for the 12 second once you drop the heal spell and it heal the units for the 12 second on the 12 second it give a 40 pulse and every pulse is happened at the 0.3 second so every 0.3 second each number of healing effect is been plus into the health of your troop it requires the spell factory level 2 to be updated or unlocked and it also required a two housing space in your spell spacing area so now let's move to the last one it required a six minute of the brewing time so whenever you start brewing it six minutes required to brew it now let's move to the states of the heal spell level one heal spell is actually unlocked at the town hall six but it isn't the real state in the game file it requires the 15,000 of elixir to be brewed with every pulse of level 1 heal spell increase the 15 amount of health in your troops health with the total healing of 600 now the state says it is level 1 at town hall 5 but it isn't an a practical thing or town hall 5 is not allowed you to unlock your spell heal spell either laboratory level 2 is not be capable to unlock it to level 3 now let's move to the level 2 of heal level 2 heal is unlocked at the town hall 6 also now it requires a 1605,000 of the elixir each pulse increase the health by 20 and the total healing is 800 now you can see level 2 heal is completely upgraded at town hall 5 also this is also the game file data so don't blame me for it and it also requires the laboratory level 3 so heal spell is unlocked at the level 2 6 level 3 heal spell level 3 heal spells is going to cost you the 18,000 of elixir and every pulse of which is going to increase the health by 25 and the total heal which has been added into any troop during 12 seconds is 1,000 of hit points which is unlocked at the town hall 6 and laboratory of the level 4 is able to upgrade heal spell to the level 3 which is unlocked at the town hall 6 and upgradable to level 3 at instance now let's move to the level 4 of the heal spell level 4 of heal spell going to cost you the elixir of 19,000 now 19,000 elixir is required to brew the level 4 heal spell in your spell factory each of the pulse going to increase the hit point by 30 and the total hit point increase is 1200 now with it is unlockable or upgradable at the town hall 7 with the laboratory level 5 now let's move to the heal spell level 5 heal spell level 5 is obviously unlocked at the town hall 8 and which requires the laboratory level 6 so it's going to cost you 21000 of elixir each of the pulse 14 pulse each of the pulse is going to increase your troops hit point by 35 hit points and total healing is going to 1400 so a troop remains in the heal spell all the 12 second it increases the maximum hit point to 104000 now it requires town hall 8 and laboratory level 6 now let's move to the heal spell level 6 Heal spell level 6 is unlocked at the town hall 9 or upgradable at the town hall 9 which cost, which is going to cost you 23,000 of elixir and each pulse of the heal spell is going to increase the hit point by 40 points and total healing hit point are 1600 which requires town hall 9 and which is going to 
require laboratory level of 7 so level 7 laboratory at level 9 uh, level 9 town hall is going to upgrade heal spell to level 6 now let's move through the upgrade cost and time of the heal spell level 2 heal spell is upgradable at the town hall 6 at instant as you unlock it and it costs you 300,000 of elixir at the cost of one day so one day required 300,000 elixir required to upgrade your heal spell at level 2 at town hall level 6 now the level 3 level 3 is also unlocked at the town hall level 6 upgradable at the town hall level 6 which is required the elixir of 600,000 and the time required to upgrade your hill spell is 2 day so 2 day 600,000 of elixir to upgrade your hill spell to level 3 at the town hall level 6 now let's move to the level 4 to upgrade your hill spell to level 4 you have to upgrade your town hall from level 6 to level 7 which requires you the 1200,000 of elixir and which are going to cost you the 3 day so 3 day 1200,000 of elixir with the level 4 heal spell at town hall 7 now let's move to the level 5 of the heal spell level 5 heal spell which is going to be upgraded at the town hall level 8 which requires you the 20,000 of elixir and which requires the time of total 5 days so 5 days 20,000, 20,000 of elixir required to upgrade your heal spell to level 4 to 5 at town hall level 8. Now let's move to the town hall level 9. Town hall level 9 allowed you to upgrade your heal spell to level 6 which requires the 40,000 of elixir and which going to cost you the 7 day. So 7 day 14,000 of elixir to upgrade your heal spell from level 6 to level sorry level 5 to level 6 now upgrading your heal spell from level 6 to level 7 which requires the town hall 10 and which requires the 60 hundred thousand of elixir and which going to cost you the 10 days so the 10 days 16 hundred thousand of elixir required to upgrade your heal spell now healer is the troop who heals the every troop in the game but healer is only healed by the heal spell so healer is only healed by heal spell so healer is the core in the army like queen walk either giant healer or a mass giant attack so healer is to be going to be supported by the heal spell in terms if you want to upgrade your army to two star to three star now dropping the heal spell if you drop heal spell on your troop it will simply going to walk away but what you need to do, you have to drop your heal spell in front of your troop whenever he is going. So he run into heal spell and he is not going to run out of heal spell. Now, Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is the biggest enemy of heal spell. It completely blocks the effect of heal spell whichever is going to be targeted by Inferno Tower. If Inferno Tower is single targeted, it do devastating damage to any single troop and which cannot be healed. If it is multi-targeted, it completely targets the 5 number of troops in its range randomly or the nearest 5 troops and which cannot be healed. As you can see here, I have dropped number of giants but none of them is going to be healed if it has been targeted by the Inferno Tower. So, the Inferno Tower is a major enemy so Town Hall 10, it isn't that much popular. Now, the Mass Giant. Mass giant are completely healed in the attack of eagle artillery. So if there is a town hall 11 and if inferno tower is not in range, your healers and your heal spell are going to heal the troops but not in the range of inferno tower. So the mass giant are extremely effective against the single target inferno as you can see here. Single target inferno is targeting a single giant at a time but number of giants with the heal spell are tremendously effective against that deadly inferno tower but uh, this is the demonstration purpose but in the real base they are in the core so here we see uh, one loot in a ladder play with a tremendous amount of resources from my second id priyank 2 from the one guju clan and this is a loot attack here i deploy the giant to support the firing power and backup edit with the archer and barbarian to funnel now i i am using the heal spell to completely supporting it now you can see hog riders are coming from the three o'clock 
position and wizards are backing up with the heroes to the giant now you can see giant are split there are three or four number of giant which are going from the top side and other are going toward tesla i decided to support the maximum number of giant cause if i waste a heal spell on three or four of the giant they are not going to target any defenses cause they are completely lost on the wall but now the situation is different my wizards are going on wrong way and they are going to target it by the deadly wizard tower combo and archer tower so i am using a heal spell on them at the bottom you can see there are giants are still alive and which has been backed up by healer so healer is going to be killed by either a seeking mind or an air defense now i using the hero's ability to make sure clear that storage is fast and push my king behind the giant as fast as possible now the last compartment as you can see there is a queen healer is switching from the giant to the queen and now queen is cleaning up the core which have the mortar and dark elixir storage so here it is locked on the dark elixir storage and now giants and king is completely destroying the compartment at the 11 o'clock area and which has been backed up by a couple of barbarian and look at the barbarian is completely mad to destroy that wall we fast forward it cause the remaining part is just a cleanup and now we are going to see a war raid cause this is a raid in which there isn't any cc available or it is a type of a dead base so here we going to see an attack a nice loot so here we going to see an attack from the dev from egg sorry from dev from one goju to the number eight evil boy the han to the ganda war the last war we are facing against and now he using some archers to take out the dragon cc so here he deploying the archers in the surrounding of a dragon so the dragon requires more time and archer i'm going to easily cleaning up cc clear and now he drops the number of giant as you can see this is a mass giant about 40 or 50 of the 15 of the giants and which are backed up by hog riders and archers and you can see he is done dropping any of its wizard at the time so what he's doing he is supporting his hog riders with the heal spell look at the heal spell he dropped heal spell in such a manner that the hog riders are going to stay in that as much as possible now hog riders moving to the nine o'clock position and giants look giants are almost dead and now they are completely full at health with help of that heal spell another heal spell come on the hog riders hog riders clearing up the way but they, it isn't that much sufficient to clear the king crumb from bottom with the backup of some wizards and it will going to clear out that last cannon on the bottom area now two cannon one asset tower one mortar and a hidden tesla with air defense is going to completely ruin the raid but that's not the case you can see in army he got a number of wizards and as you can see the all defenses are locked on the giant he uses his wizard from the downside but uh, one cannon switch from giant to wizards and wizards are going to relentlessly swipe the attack and we are fast forwarding it so here it's a nice 99 percent race for the last builder hut let's go and it's a three star attack very good job done by dave on the number eight and here thank you for watching guys next episode in couple of days like share and subscribe the channel for more content like this stay tuned for more quality classing